To lift me out. Don't know. Didn't think about it. Just did what I had to do. Hey, careful. Easy now. So, you're saying you saved my life? Thank you. Told you diving into this toxic waste was gonna end badly. But you just don't fucking listen. Toxic waste? Is that your construct? You. Heard him? Uh, heard's overstating. It's just surfaced in my head. A thought that wasn't mine or completely yours. Please just ignore his babbling. It's a complicated relationship. Why do I even bother? Doubt you should go back to the city just now. I'm pretty beat too. Last thing I want to do is drive. Let's stay the night. What do you think? Stay where, exactly? We gonna camp on the shore? No, in there. Crash there sometimes after dives. How about it? Why the hell not? Whose cottage is that then? You said you knew the owner. One of our neighbors was hell-bent on staying in Laguna Bend. Padges literally dragged him out of his house before the water came in. So he built himself another house as close as he possibly could, but then he got sick. Water was way more toxic back then. Must be chilled to the bone. I'll brew a pot. How do you take yours? Milk and sugar, please. Going all in, huh? Ah, forgot to start the generator. A generator? What's next? Jacuzzi? Finnish sauna? No, but there is running water. I can turn it on. You're gonna take it easy. Promise to take it slow. Think you could've fine-tuned the emotive wave transmitters better back there. Feet I was picking up felt a bit... flat, I wanna say. Power's up. You Your little spa is open for business. So be careful. Of course I'm going. Judy? Uh. 
What was that? Couldn't hear you clearly. Something the matter? No, nothing. Don't bullshit me, Judy. We're still synced, remember? Clouds has gone to shit. Tiger Claw Nonex took revenge for Hiromi and the rest. There was a firefight. Tom's dead. Roxanne barely got out alive. House is closed until further notice. I'd rather not talk or think about it. Didn't want to tell you. Didn't want you to think I blame you in any way. Why would you even assume I'd think that? Dunno, I... I'm sorry. Let's just kill the subject. I think I'll go lie down. I'm beat. Gah, this chick gets on my nerves. That's you and me below. Just don't wake her up. Judy pisses you off. Why? Because she cares about people? And that reminds you you're a narcissistic asshole? She's all over the place. Refuses to take the door, jumps out a window, then acts all surprised when she gets hurt. She reminds you of Alt, doesn't she? Oh, for no, nobody's even close to Alt and what me and her had. Let's get the fuck away, can we? You fucking blow if you can. Not about to leave her alone, middle of nowhere. No, I can't talk to you when you get this. Sentimental. Waste of words. At least take a nap so we don't have to argue. Will you sit with me a while? Here's your coffee. Finally. Morning. You know, yesterday I think I'd made up my mind. I actually called you because I wanted to say goodbye. The city's chewed me up. They're spitting me out. Look. Night City's not for everyone. I grew up here. Thought nothing could surprise me. And now? I'd pack up my shit and bail too, if I could. But... It's just not the right time. Give me your hand, B. All set, congrats. Just gave you unlimited access to my pad. Whoa, 
Asking me to move in? If it's what you want. Or just drop by when the urge grabs you. Sure about this? We haven't known each other that long. I like you. Consider you a friend. The way I see it, there's nothing else to consider. Take care, V. This really it. Last time we see each other. Didn't seem so set on leaving just a sec ago. See no reason to delay. I'll stay here a couple days, then head off. It's been nice knowing you, V. See ya. And hit me up on the hollow sometimes. I'll see you, Judy. <laughs>